Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. Today, I'm at Butler County Regional Airport. It's north of Pittsburgh. And oh, I get so many students that come to me that don't under, understand airspace and airport operations at all. So I thought this would be a really good idea to do a little video for you guys here, right here, and we can just go over a few different things. One question I always pose to new Part 107 license operators is this. I'm at a Class G airport, like I am right now, and I'm right on the runway, like I am right now. Am I allowed to fly this drone without an FAA waiver or authorization? The answer always comes out to be, no, you're not. If you're at, or near an airport, you need an airspace waiver or authorization. And that simply just isn't true. So let me explain why that is. You'll see the sectional chart that we have pulled up. Inside, well, you, you see that red vignette there. When you're inside the red vignette, that means Class E airspace starts at 700 feet. Now that means below 700 feet is uncontrolled airspace. We are allowed to fly in anywhere in uncontrolled airspace without a waiver or authorization. Now, obviously, we wouldn't want to just be flying around an airport like this just for the, for the heck of it, right? as a licensed operator, we also cannot interfere with airport operations. That includes the, the traffic patterns as well. So we want to make sure that we don't do anything to disturb the traffic patterns. So one last thing that I would like to just be able to give you guys an answer to is everybody thinks that you should be, the right thing to be doing is to call the airport if you have to fly near the airport. And that simply isn't the case because there's no control tower here. There is no radio communication between the airport and the pilots in the sky, other than the uh, common traffic advisory frequency that everybody shares. But they are not actively on that. So when you call an airport in like Butler County and tell them I need to fly 2.5 miles south of the airport, that's really, they're not gonna be able to do anything with that. So calling the airport is not really the answer to that uh, but there's another way to do it, which is much more important, which we're going to get to in the other video. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks again. If you like this video and would like to see more drone training videos in the near future, please hit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Looking to learn how to fly drones like a professional? Steel City Drones Flight Academy has exclusive drone training content. So go over and check out SteelCityFlyAcademy.com for more information.